Hello everyone, this is Saksham Jain and I welcome you all to the Future Camp. So in this video, we will be learning that why don't we use linear regression to solve classification style problems. And at last, we will also be seeing that what is the difference between linear regression and logistic regression. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let us suppose that I am building a model that predicts whether a tumor is malignant or not. Malignant basically means that whether the disease is serious or not. So I have to predict whether the tumor is in a serious condition or not. For, uh, for classification, I'm using the numbers 1 and 0. 1 denotes that the tumor is malignant and 0 denotes that my tumor is not malignant. So let us uh, try to solve this problem, this class, uh, classification style problem with linear regression. So suppose here in the first case, you can see that there are four dots, uh, four process below and four process above. So I have to try to fit a line uh, through this, uh, through these data points. So my line might look like this. My line might look like this. So here you, uh, here, you can see that at 0 0.5 at the uh, y is equal to 0 0.5 so let us suppose that if my linear regression gives me any number that is greater than 0 0.5 then my hypothesis or i can say that my model is going to classify the tumor as malignant and if my linear regression's output is less than 0 0.5 then my model is going to classify it as a non-malignant tumor. So here you can see that my x value or I can say when my y value is less than 0 0.5 that is at this line here whenever my, 0, whenever my values are less than 0 0.5 you can see that my tumor is not malignant and whenever whenever it is greater than 0 0.5 for example here you can see that my tumor is malignant and in less than 0 0.5 my tumor is not malignant so yeah i can use linear regression to solve classification style problems if this kind of data set is given to me but uh, suppose I have been given a outlier in my data set or I can say that my data set looks like this where there uh, where there is separation or variability between the data points or I can say that my data points are far from each other or there is an outlier there so now what my linear regression line will look like so my line will try to pass through uh, will try to fit through all the data points so my line might look like this now because of this data point my line is pushed towards the right you can see that if i see the value of 0 0.5 here then you can see that at 0 0.5 these two data points have been will be classified by my model as malignant but what about these points these points won't be considered as malignant they will be classified as non-malignant or benign why because the value is less than uh, because you can see that they lie at a value of less than 0 0.5 because of my x-axis you can see that clearly here so you can say that my uh, the prediction of my hypothesis has changed just because of of an outlier in my data set so yeah you can see here that my regression is not able to classify my data set properly so you might be thinking that uh, how about changing this value from 0 0.5 to some lower value like here you can see that this line here can be 0 0.2 so now if i change my model in such a way that it predicts any value greater than 0 0.2 to be malignant and any value lesser than 0 0.2 as non-malignant or benign so yeah you can do that but what's the purpose then which it means that for every data set you might you must have to change the value of your hypothesis you uh, for example if uh, if a new kind of data set comes for example if the data set new data set has crosses lying here and less crosses here my, then my line will shift here and you have to uh, change the again change the value of this again you have to change the value of your hypothesis hypothesis so what's the purpose then Every time you, uh, you, a new data set is given to you, you have to change the value. So that's why we don't use regression to solve classification style problems. Yeah, you can use regression to solve classification style problems, but it does not guarantee a great accuracy. 
so therefore for classification you must use classification algorithms for example logistic regression now let us discuss that what is the difference between linear regression and logistic regression by now we know that linear regression and logistic regression both are supervised machine learning problems that is they both of them need labeled data set but what is the difference between them first of all linear regression uh, belongs to the family of regression algorithms and logistic regression belongs to the family of classification algorithms in the name of logistic regression regression word might be coming but it does not mean that it is uh, it is of regression category uh, regression word is coming because the working principle of log uh, logistic regression is very much similar to that of linear regression so difference between linear regression and logistic regression are in linear regression we predict continuous numeric outputs for example in case of house price prediction my predict my output can be any number that is it can be 70 lakh 60 lakh 5, 5 4 3 2 1 0 0 0 or any number it can be any number the output can be any number but in classification style problems my output has to be discrete in logistic regression my output can be a binary number for example 0 1 3 4 5 6 or a multi class uh, multi class classification is also possible in linear regression the there is a linear depend uh, linear relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variables but that case is not required to be in logistic regression in linear regression my independent and dependent variables have to be correlated but that does not apply to logistic regression in linear regression we might be we might be using the error term as mean square error but in logistic regression we use a concept of maximum likelihood to get our error function for example cross entropy so that was all for today guys in this video we discussed that why don't we use regression particularly linear regression to solve classification style problems and also we learned what is the difference between linear regression and logistic regression so that was all for today guys in the next video we will be covering logistic regression in depth so let us meet in the next video until then bye bye